News 2 is your local election headquarters. The race to the South Carolina State Senate District 42 seat took another turn last night. The Democratic primary runoff now likely heading to a recount. That's right. News 2's Jordan Siopa is joining us live in the studio with what's next in this process. Hey, Jordan. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Carolyn. Based on the unofficial results from last night, the Democratic candidates for South Carolina Senate District 42 remain neck and neck. Now, State Representative Dion Tedder does have a narrow 11 vote lead over State Representative Wendell Gilliard, but 10 provisional ballots still need to be reviewed. The Charleston County Board of Elections says they're anticipating a recount. The winner of the South Carolina Senate 42 special primary election has yet to be determined. So we have an 11 vote margin between the two candidates. State representatives Wendell Gilliard and Dion Tedder are in the running for the Democratic nomination. Neither candidate had 50% of the votes two weeks ago, sparking Tuesday's runoff. In the unofficial results, Representative Tedder had 11 more votes than Representative Gilliard. So here's what happens next. In Charleston County, we have 10 provisional ballots, so tomorrow, Thursday, we have the certification hearing here at our office where our board will make a determination on those 10 provisional ballots. Isaac Kramer with the Charleston County Board of Elections says if the margin is 1% or less, then a recount will be called by the State Board of Canvassers after their meeting on Thursday at 11 a.m. Representative Gilliard said in a statement on Wednesday his campaign has not conceded. He went on to say in part, quote, I am proud of the campaign that we have run, of our commitment to the people of District 42 instead of the moneyed interest in Colombia, of our message of economic justice and the right of all people to have not just a seat at the table, but an equal say on the decisions made at the table. In the initial election on September 5th, Representative Gilliard gained 47 percent and Representative Tedder followed with 39 percent. It's just amazing the gap that we were able to uh, come back from. A lot of people doubted us. Uh, I was the underdog. Uh, from the beginning. And so I, I think it just speaks a testament to the people in District 42 that they're ready for change. Now the winner of the primary will face Republican Rosa Kay in the November 7th general election. We will have Representative Gilliard's full statement on our website, countonto.com. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Jordan Siopa, Count on Two.